sent out to left field. Weems tracking it. Weems hauls it in. DJ Fontaine is untouchable. Right when I found out that I threw the, threw the no hitter, it's just I felt very accomplished, and I was just very, um, just very happy. It was just a great feeling to have, and I just want to hopefully keep on continuing building off that and keep on having dominant starts throughout the rest of the year. I would say around the fifth inning, everyone started buzzing a little bit in the in the um, dugout, and then top of the sixth, you could kind of see guys, you know, a little bit more energy in the dugout. And obviously, once you get into the seventh. Um, you also start going through your notes and you kind of figure out, okay, wait a minute, there, no one's reached base yet, so now you know that the, the, the perfect game's intact. Right when Irv made that final catch, um, when everyone was cheering and all the people were rushing to me in the dugout, that's when everything just clicked at once and I just found out what happened. And it was just a very exciting feeling to have. TJ again, he's been kind of trending that way. You know, he's been, he's been showing that his fastball command is kind of been, been growing throughout the entire season um, and it, it was definitely kind of watching you know a little bit of a flashback to when Steven was growing through our program as well um, you know two different styles of guys you know Steven was more of a power guy TJ definitely remind uh, relies on location and commanding that fastball in order to make his other pitches really good his change up and his slider and and what we saw on Friday night was he, he commanded all four quadrants of the strike zone with his fastball, and it kept the you know Nevada off balance all night. And that he didn't really throw that many off-speed pitches unless he needed a swing and miss and a big moment, and he, he delivered those pitches on the right time. C.J. Fontaine is untouchable.